Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the Pac-12. We got Pete Garrison on the line from Fox Sports. Uh, just worked the Cal win against Washington State to move the Golden Bears to five and four, following a three-game losing streak. Pete, how you doing tonight? We're doing well, man. Full day of college football. Couldn't be happier. Absolutely. So the Golden Bears, under the uh, guidance of Justin Wilcox, who I think is an underrated coach. Uh, just a fabulous job that he's done with that team. He's majored on defense. It stops like Wisconsin. That's his calling card. And certainly they bring it when you hold a Washington State team with Anthony Gordon at quarterback to 20 points. That's impressive. Yeah, it was a true air raid performance from Washington State, as we expect. But at one point, Anthony Gordon threw 22 straight passes. No run game incorporated. They do have a, a good running back, Washington State, and Max Borgie. But instead of running the ball with him, they just toss it to him on screen passes in the flat. And so it's still technically a pass, of course. So that, that's always fun to watch Mike Leach and see what he brings out. But you're right. Justin Wilcox, very impressive coach. Obviously coach at USC and on that staff and has a very good defensive mind. And he's turned this Cal defense into a beast, uh, especially at home. This Cal team is a very different squad. Yes, they beat UW on the road as well. So they're really a formidable opponent wherever they go. And uh, Devin Modster came back from injury and had a career day. Three throwing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Uh, a little bit of luck, a little bit of big play magic, uh, especially on the last 52-yard touchdown. But Cal's a formidable team, and we just talked USC, Arizona State recap that happened today. And USC has to travel to Berkeley next week, and I think the spread on that one's going to be close. And honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Berkeley upset the Trojans in in Berkeley next weekend. So the Bears win at 33-20. And again, to hold the Cougars in a Mike Leach offense to 20 points is something. So there must have been a whole lot of uh, action between the 20s. And then that uh, Cal defense must have done some work because uh, Anthony Gordon on a 45 for 58 night only produces 20 points and came into the game number one in the nation in both pass yardage and touchdowns. Exactly. I mean, Anthony Gordon's a very talented guy. Some, somehow the Cougars always get these guys, a Minshew, a Gordon, a transfer, wherever they get them from, they throw the ball around. You mentioned 400 yards through 58 passes. Um, I, don't, I just don't know if that offense has enough weapons to defeat a team like, like Cal Berkeley, who's not extremely talented in their own right, personnel-wise on, on offense and stuff. But I just don't know if, if Washington State had, had the offense and, and had the defense. We saw them get lit up against UCLA. And uh, they never led in, that, in this game today. And it's actually their fifth loss in their last six games after a pretty spirited start where they were ranked at one point. So they've been on the downtrend. And um, I, I'm just not sure where Mike Leach, his career is heading now. I, I've heard rumors that he may be looking for a new job and a, a bigger program because he's had success. He's gone to some great bowl games with the Cougars. He was great in Texas Tech, had a well over six, 700 winning percentage with both schools. He went 11-1 and with the Cougars a couple years ago. So he's a very talented coach. I love the guy. Anthony Gordon's very talented, but you got to hand it to Justin Wilcox and the Cal Bears because they were seven-point underdogs in this one. And – they stayed strong throughout and then kind of pulled away in that second half. The score was 33 to 20, but really it should have been 33 to 13 or 33 to 10 because Cal was ahead by a wide margin in that second half. All right. Uh, so the Golden Bears again, USC next week at home. They're five and four, need one more win to become bowl eligible. The Cougars on the flip side need to win two of three to get to that six win mark at four and five, coming off an 11 and two. Best record in the Pac-12. I know they didn't win the conference last year, but had uh, the most wins in the conference last year and won the Alamo Bowl. So uh, they had a bit of a downer, as expected, coming off uh, last season's effort. Uh, Pete, we appreciate you stopping by to break down more Pac-12 football for us. Yeah, anytime, Mark.